Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic 
and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. Yeah, we played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom, and that was stupid. So what are you gonna do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. And the people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us. And I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ray. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, Remember, I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? I just hope I make the right one. Just do what your heart tells you. And you know you made the right decision. the Black Sun, the most powerful condenser ever built. We let the infraworld expand around it, makes it easier to study. Has, has anyone been in there? I don't think anyone could survive it. Nothing in there but our worst nightmares. 
Come on, let's go. All right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Come in. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Elizabeth North, no identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars for services rendered. That should help make a new start. I'm starting a new life. I don't want anything that reminds me of the old one. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my Wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago. My mother to die too. I cried a lot. Hanging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. 
Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Nathan. No. no. Don't ask me that. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Nathan, <laughs> you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen did say that you did. They're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, if you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Jody. We will always be grateful for your help.
Jody. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> They have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Cole here. Hello? Hello? I might... It's beginning to go now. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Over there. Okay, I get it. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it?
Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Right. Now where? Jody's here? Jody! Get, get out! Oh. Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay. This way! Hurry up! Don't stay here! No! Come on! Get up! Now! This way! There might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Stop this! Dawkins has gone mad. He took down the 
Field, you gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton, get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. <laughs> shot, but it's the best I got. Come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here, let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. <sighs> Man? I always figured I'd die a hero. <laughs> been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus, I hope you're right. Our little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end.
Because they don't recognize you anymore! Your anger has changed you! I miss them! I miss them so much! Maybe there's still a chance to stop this! I know it's not what you want! I know it's not what Helen and Laura would have wanted!
missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody, fuck, there you are. What happened? He found what he was looking for. Come on. Black Sun, just take this no, and no, do it. No, no, those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. Hey, get out of here before I change my mind. Injection with a neural acid which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did was matter. It's too late, Joe. It's too late.
God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled them. We couldn't do my anything. Son. I want to see my son. Aiden. My twin. My brother. We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Jody, we made it. Aiden?
Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much.
took months. Months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved him. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. at night. Terrifying things. It 
tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No, it's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Next time, I'll kill everyone. My God, I was so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what we'll find out. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct We're not coming back. Do it, babe. She's more than amazing. She's magnificent.